Okay guys, so this right here, super popular motor with a super popular problem. What I did, I was driving down the river and it was kind of weird how it happened, but I uh, hit, a, hit a shallow spot and there was some rocks and I hit the rocks and I killed the motor, shut it off. And I got back out of there and I started it back up and after that it wouldn't go very fast. I know the other day we took it out to Blacktail, we could only get it up about four mile an hour. So took it home, figured it was something with one of the plugs something, figured I might have fouled one. And I took the plugs out, the top one was firing, bottom one nothing. So I ended up doing some diagnosis and I cut the wires to the different cylinders and I switched them and the bottom one would fire, but the top one had nothing. So did a little research to make sure what I thought it was was the real problem. I'll undo that clip there, undo this. I figured it was a CDI ignition box or they also call them power packs on these pretty easy thing to fix we're just gonna pop pull this one out and show you okay there's the little metal hooks on here it's a clip they use to hold these fittings together I already undid the top one there but yeah I, I looked into it and a lot of people had that problem and a lot of people threw different answers out there but the most common one was that this power pack had gone bad you can see this one was on another motor and it got real hot and it's half melted all you do is undo those two plugs there let's take and i think i covered my parts up with my box i believe those were 10 mm look at that i have a 10 mm because i'm the one that steals them all keep that on the down low yeah, we're going to undo these two bolts. Pretty quick little job here. Except for that they're kind of melted, so the bolt doesn't like coming out. <laughs> okay, set that one there. One down below. Turn that a little. You guys see it better. Okay, I got, got plenty of room on the camera there so you guys can see everything okay that should be out of the motor no not quite they're pretty long-winded bolts okay i don't want to get out on the water and have a problem with this one oh it's an actual original part i think i'm not sure it looks different than mine but yeah like i say it got hot and it cracked right here the back's all melted the sides all melted so i'm like yeah let's let's not go with that oh forgot there's one here it's no nope, on this one on the other motor it was a bigger size it was 12. on this one it's a 10. that's your ground bolt there undo that bugger We'll just set it back in the hole for a second. Okay, now what I get, got is a Chinese part. That fell out of the box right there. There you go. This one right here. So, in good shape, says Fitz brand of Johnson Evinrude, blah, blah, blah. It's for, uh, I believe, 19. 77 to 84 something like that they all use the same one on any two-stroke motor so up to like a 45 50 horse something like that so we put our ground wire in here get that good and tight you don't want to lose ground that's one of the things that can cause stuff like this to burn up. And we're gonna bring her in here. 
put the bolts in. Okay, we shoved that one in before I stuck it in the hole here. Okay. Anyway. Let's do her fast. Come on. Make a short video out of this. Ha! You actually want your videos to be at least eight and a half minutes so they qualify for all the different ad types if anybody hadn't told you that i try to make all mine around 10 minutes is what i shoot for let me get this sucked in here i don't think my fuel line's hooked up you don't want to run these much without water it's okay to fire them for a second Anyway, we'll push this, or no, this wire comes around here by this hose, comes around here, goes in this little keeper deal, bend that back over, feed that in there, pull the clamp over there, there you go guys, I'm going to run this one through, clip it in this one, and run it down. Keep it away from the engine as much as you can there. Okay. Then we're going to put it in this one. Oh. Drop the clip on the ground. You look like a crazy man. Okay. Put this clip on. Run it up under there. Keep this down in here more. Because if you get the wires up there, they're in the way of the flywheel and stuff. So we'll... Keep it right there, clip her around. Okay, let's hook up some fuel and give her some fire just to make sure everything worked properly. This is a really good little motor. They really are. But And a lot of people talk about this being a common problem. But I think the one that was on this was probably the original ignition box. So hot, it takes a minute to get it to pump up. There we go. Got pressure to the fuel. We'll pull our choke here. Maybe. Oh, he. Oh, I turned it. Oh, it's in gear. Okay, turn that there. There. Well, we'll see, huh? Okay guys, so I shut the camera off, pulled the spark plugs, did a little diagnosing. And if you can believe it, we had a bad case of Chinesium here. Our, uh, our Made in China CDI didn't work out, so I'm going to have to contact them. Put the original one back on. <laughs> Just say my boat motor runs like a top, so it really got me when I pulled the rope and it didn't just start. So, yeah, sometimes you luck out with a cheap part. Sometimes you get one, even American made, whatever, that just don't work. So, I'm going to contact the company through eBay and see if they'll send me another one or whatever. So, thanks for tuning in, everybody. I hope this helped you. Please like, comment, subscribe. Catch you on the next one.